Hello, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a good mirror. This is our end result, a smooth performant mirror. First, we have to go to our project settings which can be found in the settings tab. Next, search in here for planar reflections. You will need to set this to true and then restart the project. Anyway, you can drag out a cube from the place actors tab. One thing I should say is yes, you can do this in a blueprint actor. Just scale the cube to your mirror size. I will show you later why this cube is important. You want to make sure that the cube is placed aligned to the wall and just behind it. You can name this cube back mirror. We will now give this mirror a reflective material. Right click on browser, create a material and name it M underscore mirror. In here, there are a few settings you need turned on. Go to the details and just scroll down until you find the forward shading category, you will can tick on high quality reflections but most importantly tick on planar reflections. Now to make the actual material, you just need a constant vector and a constant 3 vector, it's simply just having a white color for base, and then metallic is at 1 while roughness is 0. Apply, then save, now drag that material onto the cube. As you can see it sort of works. It has a simple reflection but it's not finished yet. We still have one more thing to go through to fix this, it is a planar reflection, you can do your own research on this but simply just makes the reflection more accurate. Go drag out the planar reflection and rotate it and scale it down to the size of your mirror. Then slide it over the back mirror to make that reflection better. As you can see it still needs some improvements, let me show you what these values mean in the details panel. First the normal distortion, this is the strength of the reflection distortion and results in these distances. I like to keep it at zero. Now the roughness, is simply changing how rough the surface is, like the mirror material earlier, it makes the reflection blur a bit, I rather see it non blurry, so I keep it at zero. Now. The distance from the plane fallout, fades the planar reflection depending how far away you stand. I like to keep it at around 100 to 110. We have angles which is the same as the distance fade. I just like to keep it the same. Next set of settings is the scene capture, the primitive render mode. This chooses what to render. Select the render scene primitives without legacy on it. This will render all except the ones that are set as hidden. And for performance improvements, you don't need to capture every frame, just need to capture when player moves, you could even try using a timer instead if there are problems with capturing on movement. Maybe a box trigger to enable or disable reflections when you are far away or out of the room. Anyway, time to test it currently. I will quickly just disable motion blur in project settings as I don't like it. As you can see a mirror that looks good and if you do this in a blueprint actor, you can just copy paste these mirrors whenever you want. Now, let's see what happens if you delete the back mirror and then play it, as you can see no reflection, nothing. The planer just does an accurate reflection, you will need an object in order to see it, same for water, or other objects. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and consider subscribing, liking and see you next time.